Are we back? Yeah, I'm back. Fucking it. You had no boundaries. Right, let's do number seven. I'm sure I got entirely distracted by that door pad. I know. Fucking passwords, right. Resident Evil 7 oh, reference. Yep. Are they filming adult entertainment in here? Had to take care of some customers that filed complaints. My apologies. What's with the camera shaking? So much to do with Are we fighting a fucking postal worker? Yes. These people with all their nonsense. What's with the camera shake? Seriously. Because he's metal. It's crazy. But anyway, I'm here. I made it on time. I'm sorry, Sam. I've literally just realized why it's called going postal. I'm so sorry. You're ranked? Not me. Well. Actually, oh, that makes sense. Never mind then. You've got a job to do. But first, I need some time to get ready. Would you mind? Give me a uh, twenty hours. I need some privacy. Privacy. What the yes. fuck? I need to prepare. But didn't didn't the organization tell you exactly when the fight would be? Not even here. I just need you to look the other way for a second. A second. Yes, just a split second. I don't think it's too much to ask. Do you? Then we can get on with our fight. I'm sorry, I'm about to beat the shit out of a postal worker. All this right. is excellent. Is he Dio? You changed costume how fast? What the what's fuck? With, what's with the weird cup piece? Look at this cup piece. I didn't mean to do that. You didn't mean to try and kill him? What? I let my guard down. Getting sloppy. I gotta stay on my toes. You mind if I ask you something? Yeah, what is it, Mr. Cosplay? We're both assassins, right? Why do we have to kill each other anyway? Didn't the organization explain this? Oh, sorry, man. Do you not realize who you fucking work for? That's what it's about. Can't argue with that. Well, then. Let's get started. Good. Number seven. Where everyone grabs the what? idiot ball in the cutscene. We're both fighters, aren't we? Not killers. At least for now. This is a sign of sportsmanship that we respect each other before. He's already trying to hit you once. Why would you trust him again? I was expecting like a Joker style buzz or something. Oh, and there we go. He has to call us attacks. Put it there. Life's been good to me. <laughs> God, he is the Joker. Oh, this is I'm sure I'm distracted by the glowing light on his card piece. <laughs> is that to draw people's attention to it, or? Man, you are something. Oh, this is the best. Man, you really cracked me up. This laughter's gonna kill me. Seriously, I think I might really die from laughter. It hurts. Someone help! I'm not laughing. Not laughing at all. In other words, everyone's reaction to watching DSP. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. How do I use rations? How are you silencers? How do I not die? How do I move forward? What, ear lasers? He has ear lasers. Once you go block, you go death. <laughs> oh my god, he's got cock laser. <laughs> right, now we know the purpose of the cock piece. That was quite a move. I'll admit you've got potential. If Challenge had a taste, you'd be quite delicious. What? Fight number seven? Yeah, sure. Is he always obsessed with food? His super moves are desserts, and he sees challenges as... What? I'm sorry. Eating competitions? Good is dead. I'm sorry, I need to take on fucking Captain Codpiece over here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen that movie. Well, the floor's magic, it just self-repairs, by the way. Thank God he has to call with his socks. The Japanese weakness. How's he suplexing someone twice the size? No idea, but it's fucking awesome. He just yeeted someone like twice as weight. 
Thank God this guy's really telegraphed attacks. It's a silent alarm. I should break those. <laughs> Is he using wires now? He's using fuck. Get ready for the greatest wire fighting routine. I hope my wire fighting crew is ready. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I remember. Oh that shit. Too. Okay, good, he's still over there. What is this achieving? Him just floating in the air? He's a stationary target. Because we can't hit him because we've got a short range weapon. Don't taunt me, Flutter. It's ear lasers. Is this Vogan? Ram GS3? I really wish I just had a parry better. Fuck. Okay, that was sloppy. Oh, shit! Thank God, crates are immune to car collectors. So he got cock blocked. And Let's see if curtains are. Oh shit! Okay, that's wait. Not... You mean curtains aren't immune from lasers? Yeah, cur. Who knew? So it's a postal worker who's secretly a superhero with fuck, magic copies powers. You know how some people have magic staffs or items which make them powerful? He seems to have magic copies. The attack just phased through. Just an invincibility frame there. I'm trying to actually dodge. You have to log on, well, lock on first. I am locking up. But, sorry, I'm getting sloppy now. There we go. That's what you need to do. After your main attack fails, you just need to gloat that it didn't work. No, I like this guy though. Like it's more dynamic than the other so far. <laughs> oh yeah, to reload dual weapon, you have to shake it. How does he reload his copies? Let's not even go there. Just call me. Nice. You can't stab with that sword. It doesn't work. He's got fucking nipple guns. <laughs> what? I can't hear you. Squeal like a big boy. Squeal. Squeal. I what think this guy might have problems. J j what just a hunch. Anyway. Please. 
What did that achieve? Because that guy's so big, his nipple cannons just completely missed Travis. Just went over his head. Yep. Isn't that that scene from Pulp Fiction? We're just firing all those bullets, completely missing. Yep. Oh, gee. Did you see those nipple cannons? How big the he was. Shot Marvin in the face. Well, didn't you tell us there was an extra guy hiding in the bathroom? Oh, dear. Wait, does this mean Travis is going to go to Big Kahuna Burger to celebrate? Yeah, we're going to have a beer mat with cheese. She thought the whole time. Is that one of the perks of being number one? No, no, he wants to do it with her, remember? Oh. The strangest fucking romance. Oh yeah, that's right, it's fucking Star Wars victory screen. Wait, he was literally called the Destroyer. No, no, just Destroy Man. Oh, Destroy Man. You destroy things. Why didn't I think of that? Oh dear. <laughs> the only way it could be a worse nickname is if he was the Shocker. Oh no, we got Poop Tickler. <laughs> we got um, Senator Poop, Poop Tickler. Okay, we got five star general Poop Tickler. <laughs> the Poop Tickler names are classic. Oh, one of the girls here said that you might need a new pillow cover for this one. You know, just for protection. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what you've been doing. Maybe eating in bed is just covered in mayonnaise. Oh god, that's a lot of empty toilet paper. Sam. No. No. <laughs> Oh my god, I just realized it's an Irish man over the phone. Is Travis transferring money to the IRA as well? <laughs> Wait, that would explain a lot. Yeah. Hang on, what does it cost 150 grand to set up a fight? Um, admin? Um, oh god, he is trying to... Um, and they just, in another room, Bono's waiting in the back of him. Put the fucking platform shoes back, Bono, he's on to it. <laughs> Get out of your own way. Oh, God, Travis is funding the IRA. <laughs> oh, dude, let's go see if there's a fuck camera. Let's go see if we can buy any new swords. I'll do odd jobs and then transfer the money. But didn't you mean random tasks? Yeah, we'll do random tasks and then transfer the money. Who the fuck throws a shoe? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just remembered that scene of Austin Powers. Yeah, we're friends. Really, no, 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 were they kill him with the penis pump? Do they? Yeah, Austin, the, the pump. What was it? One Swiss penis pump or something? Yes, oh, that's not mine. It says your name on it. And here's a book on operating said penis pump with your name on it. And here's a book saying penis pumps are my bag baby. With your name on it. <laughs> so how does this drunk guy lose his ball in such awkward places? That's been one hell of a drunk night out. I ended up in a kebab shop in another town over once when I got blackout drunk, so, you know. Well, there's that, and didn't that woman from uh, Agents of Mayhem end up suspend uh, in a cargo No, but like, like, that, like, uh, like the difference is my one actually fucking... Yeah, cargo shop over... over yeah. So, if you haven't played it, there's a character who wakes up drunk in a cargo container, which is suspended by crane in the air. No, but like, like how the hell she got there is anyone's guess. Hmm. 
Which one's Sabaki? This one's Sabaki. Right, okay. You already had the Sabaki. Yeah, yeah, I'm just double checking them actually still buying parts for that. Mm -hmm. So a Russian man got so drunk he left his balls all over town. Then woke up in a bar still drinking. Yep. Sounds like pretty average night. For a Russian? So, yep. Sounds like me fucking uni days during the fridge here. Uh, good times. Yeah. But is it just like uh, Rick and Morty? How did I get here? No, pretty much. <laughs> it's time for your fucking favourite moment. Or Japanese bathhouse scene. Let me, let me let me just get the zip oh, off here. Sorry, that's pretty racist. They could be Chinese. No, no, but bathhouse is from that part. That, fuck it. No, we're not even getting into this. Just remember, you need another man to make sure you're doing it right. You can't just do it by yourself. Isn't it? You can't just go it solo. No, you gotta pump it. Could, could you just like feed some chips into my mouth again? Oh dear. How about some Doritos? Uh, not in the mood. Are fuck. you eating Doritos on the mic? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at fucking <laughs> Doritos. Yeah, someone called in one time at Trick Cups Radio. And he was just eating chips. He didn't say anything. He was eating <laughs> chips. And that made Ghost cans not wave. Just Do you remember the guy trip. who phoned in and he was just asleep? Oh, yeah. That made him even that more mad. Excellent. Are you falling asleep? How can you fall asleep to True Cabot's radio? Earlier. You think, the, right. mar you think the markets are boring? Shut up. All right. What we're going to uh, talk about like the markets in China. What I think is 42 coins of real big investment. Yeah. Have you fallen asleep? I don't know. Oh no, I was gonna say, um, Borat, you've watched Borat, haven't you? No. Okay, good, there's a bit in Borat where he kidnaps Pamela Anderson that I need to show you. Because, like, hidden cameras and it's fucking hilarious. Like, I'll show you that between cards. And we've still got a shitload of cash left over, excellent. Why does he just have a TV in the middle of his o in the back of his office, even though no chairs point that no, way? No, 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 because his desk's on the right-hand side, look. Oh, right. So he, like, turns his head to the right a bit, and then he can watch TV. I don't know what kind of TV someone like him would watch. You'd probably have to pay good money to get those channels. Or use a proxy. I know this is a bit cliche, but, like, given how cliche his character is, I imagine he's probably watching all Bruce Lee movies or something. Oh, right. <laughs> it's just a rerun of the Lego movie. Your element is green. Oh god, that was stupid. Green. He was hot. No, no, he was green. Green. Seriously, getting Jackie Chan in that was fucking brilliant. Like, yeah. that was a superb bit of casting. Green. Uh, I was thinking that the movies that guy I watch uh, wouldn't be very good casting, but it would be very good casting couch. Not really, the casting couch is going to be wrecked by the time they're done with it. Why are the roads so wide? It's America, they have bigger cars, remember? Damn, they can't drive for shit. No, but like you've seen the size of the American RV compared to the English caravan, right? Yeah. Have you seen that episode of Top Gear? There's like a thousand. No, no, the one where they compare the caravan to the RV. No. You should, it's a pretty good episode. I just remember the one that's American road trip where they uh, try to make each other's cars the most offensive they can. Oh, that was hilarious. That was brilliant. No, and there's one where they stick James Main to a caravan and an RV, and he's just really annoyed because of how cramped the caravan is compared to the RV. Yeah. And I think he fails to cook beans in, a, in the hob or something. So is the school renting out uh, the space for assassins, you know, to help pay for tuition? Which gets everyone's favourite part of the class. In fact, let's abort that joke. I'm surprised you didn't want to go for... No, I'm not going to make that joke. 
Well, I was going to make a ghost joke, but we all know that ghost is a racist, so he can say no, 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 no. Okay. No, wait, he's the melting pot friendship. A bit, bit too far. Let's not try and get the dogs. Why he's found him? Yeah, this just turned into Scott Pilgrim. It's funny you should say that. Can't wait until you see where this goes in the second game. You know what's It's the first game to him work out the rankings. Well, the second game is him working up another set of rankings. Fucking censor bar. Because he leaves and then comes back. Oh. Like how for a samurai. Yeah. Well, it just comes back years later and other people have taken the top spot. Um, something like that, but not exactly. Now, can we upgrade the weapon yet? No, 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 I already upgraded the weapon. No. I, I upgraded the weapon and then shot that mission, so we work around to the job center, and then um, take another job, and then I'll pay the ATM. Oh, yeah, I wonder, two. will the organization accept 42 con? I don't think that we can pay them in Bitcoin, son. No. If, if only because Bitcoin didn't exist when this game came out. No, it's in 42 coin, but that's kind of worthless. Cri so. cri cryptocurrency. Okay. Well, this is a job? Seriously? Fill the cars with gas. So if the drivers of the cars drove up to the gas station, they're too lazy to pull their own gas, they have to pay someone a stupid amount of money to put the gas in there. Did car. you not see that thing about Lee? I think it was. I can't remember what state it was. There was a thing where there was a state recently in America where they legalized people pouring their own gas. And there was, it was much confusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Americans. And people like people were driving off of the pump still in their car. <laughs> That's how massive, I don't know, explosions happen. It, like, no, it seriously it took like 13 hours or something for one guy to blow his car up. Because <laughs> he didn't put the petrol cap back on properly. Oh, God. There was some guy having a fag. <laughs> Oh, no, seriously, seriously, there's like security cam footage of some guy standing there having a fag, like, with the petrol pump not even in the fucking car. He's holding the button down with, the, like, pouring petrol in with the pump outside of his car. Oh my god. You know, like one of those carnival games where you have the car nets? Yeah. Like, that's, mean, no. <laughs> that's how you blow yourself up. Yes. No, he was pouring it in. <laughs> what happened? Like, He's pouring it in with one hand, and he's having a cigarette puffing away, and he takes it out of his mouth and swaps hands. I swear to God, if I find that footage, I'll show it to you. Okay. Put that on the screen. Okay. okay, engineer, we're cutting off there. We're cutting off there, engineer. I can handle so much stupid. <laughs> no, really, he was having a fag in the bachelor pool. 